I'm Ray, and I'm from Southboro, Massachusetts, and I'm transgender. Growing up, I, I didn't necessarily know that I was male-identified, but I liked to act male. I liked to pretend I was male. In, in the pretend games you play when you're little, I was always the boy, and I liked it that way. Um, as I grew older, I would really tried to mask it, and that made it harder to transition later on because people were a little more hesitant to recognize what I was able to see. They, they would say, well, you, you acted like a girl when I was able to say, yeah, but I didn't feel like a girl. I had just heard what being transgender meant, and it was this epiphany moment of, wow, that's an exact description of how I feel. And I was in the car with my mom, and I turned to her and said, Mom, I want a haircut, because I had hair down to about here at that point. And she said, okay, we can get you a haircut. And I said, no, Mom. I want my hair cut, like, short. And she said, oh, that's fine. And I said, well, can I have a boy's haircut? And she said, yes. And I said, good, because I want to feel more like a boy. And then I think I clapped a hand over my mouth because <laughs> I couldn't believe I had just said that out loud because I was just starting to acknowledge this to myself, and to say it out loud, especially to another person, meant that it was real. My mom turned to me and said, well, do you feel like a boy? And I said, I don't know. And I think I started crying, and I got angry and really confused. It was a process. They, they started calling me Ray, which was my, ma my male name. Um, then they started using male pronouns, which took a long time to train them to do that um, because they'd known me for, obviously, since infancy. Um, and then finally, one day, we were in the ER. I had passed out in school for whatever reason, I don't remember. And uh, we, she was talking to the receptionist, and the receptionist said, oh, you know, what do you need? And my mom said, oh, my son passed out. And I just sort of turned and stared at her. And she just smiled at me. And that was just the final step in knowing that my parents had really accepted me for who I was and that it was real, it was happening, and I could be who I wanted to be.